Hey guys, this is going to be my video on how to put together a Lynn Lovegood outfit for um, Halloween or a fancy dress party or some sort of Harry Potter thing. Um, if you'd like to see how I did the makeup and hair, um, you can click here and I'll link it in the description box at the end of the, um, not the end of the video, I'll link it in the description box um, if you'd like to see how I did that, if you haven't already watched it. So, um, carry on watching to see how I put together all the accessories and the outfit I'm wearing and you can see the full outfit I'm wearing. Um, I hope you like it and let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the whole outfit um, all together and I think I'll start with clothes and go to the bottom up and talk about accessories. These are my shoes. They are from New Look and they are Converse's black converses with the pattern of butterflies and flowers on them in um, all different colours. Um, Luna often wears converses, oh no, I say often, Luna always wears um, converses of some sort, so any converses that you have or that a friend has, I'd wear them as long as they're not like black or grey or brown, any colour converse, red, blue, green, whatever, any colour converse um, is perfect or patterned ones, just she always wears converses, which I think looks really cute in an outfit. Next, tights. Um, I'm going for the outfit. I'm kind of recreating one of the outfits that she wore with a starry black skirt and blue tights. But she wears skirts and tights a lot. So these tights I have are grey and pink. And the pink on the tights has this kind of zigzag pattern. I'd say that any patterns or coloured tights that you have um, are perfect. Um, I, the ones I really can remember are like electric blue tights that she has, but any bright coloured tights you have or pattern tights are really, really good. These are from, I have no idea, they were a present, but loads of shops sell patterned or coloured tights, so these are really easy to pick up. Next, the skirt. Um, this skirt is from H&M and I've had it for years and I do wear it as like a normal skirt. It's not too weird. It's grey with pink and purple and blue and red kind of squares and stuff on it. And it's a really nice um, A-line shape and comes in at your waist and then flares out to mid-thigh and I really, really love this skirt. Any coloured skirt that you have or any pattern skirt would again be perfect. Um, just anything colourful for Luna, as long as um, you're not wearing something really dark, then it's absolutely fine. So any coloured or pattern skirt that you have. Next, my top. My top is purple with black stripes, and it's a long-sleeved, um, kind of tight top, like this. And, um, again, um, she wears long sleeved um, tops quite a lot, so any long sleeved coloured top you have is perfect. Um, I also have a bright purple one and a bright blue one, but I went for this stripy one to add a bit more pattern. So that's perfect, but again, any long sleeved top that you have. Next, my cardigan. It's one of these cardigans with kind of, oops, let's hold a bit up, like holes in. And, um, and um, she wore a cardigan like this in, oh my gosh, I can't remember, one or two scenes in the movies. Um, she wore a kind of holy cardigan. Um, and this is a bit more difficult to do. Um, so if you have a cardigan, any kind of cardigan, whether it's long sleeves or short sleeves, or three quarter length sleeves or anything, or whether it does up or not, with holes like in the knit, that's perfect. But also, I suppose any kind of cardigan that's patterned, or even just a plain colourful cardigan would work, probably a thicker knit one for any um, colourful or patterned cardigan. So everything in this is either colourful or patterned. Right, that is all my clothes. That is the whole outfit. Um, next, accessories. First is my quibbler that I hold underneath my arm like this, or upside down, if you're Luna. Basically all this is, is a normal magazine, um, just normal girls magazine that I had lying around. And what I've done is I've printed um, the front and back um, cover of the Quibbler off the internet. 
and stuck it on the front. Um, I will try to link the site that I got this printing of the Quibbler off, um, but if I, uh, I will probably be able to find it, but if it's, if I haven't linked it yet, or it's not there or something, if you just type in like Quibbler, Quibbler covers into Google, you'll probably find it as long as, um, print it off in A4 size and just stick it with print stick on the back of any magazine that you have and that's fine and that's a really nice thing to kind of carry around it looks really cute under your arm and it just ties the whole thing together because it's actually the quibbler next is my wand it looks like this it is literally just a stick um, you can find you can find sticks anywhere it is not that difficult to find sticks um, this one basically um, this bottom bit of the stick is how we originally found it and then this top bit, the, it's kind of whittled away because when I made this I was with my younger cousins and we spent the afternoon whittling wands because they also like Harry Potter. So that was what we did. So this is how I made my wand and I thought it was really cool because I had a little, little nobble to hold my hand in. So, but you can get any stick or if you have a wand already, like um, one of the ones that you can buy from Warner Brothers and that's perfect. Just you actually can get Luna's exact wand if you want to be that specific, but I did not put that much effort in and they're quite expensive, so a stick. A stick is good. My necklace. It looks like this. Um, my necklace is literally made out of wine corks. Oh, that's not going to focus. Focus. Yeah. My necklace is made out of wine corks um, tied round and each of them is tied onto this bit of string so you get a really long bit of string and tie a knot around each wine cork so it turns into a necklace length and this is basically obviously like Luna's Butterbeer cork necklace but this is so easy to make just make sure um, you start saving up the wine cork so don't just rely on your parents or yourself to drink all the wine because the wine with corks in isn't I don't know there aren't many wines with corks in anymore but ask your friends Every time I know you, them or their parents crack open a bottle of wine, keep the cork for you um, to make this necklace. My earrings are, I actually made them myself. They are meant to be the dirigible plum earrings that Luna wears, and I made them out of Fimo clay. I had these earring parts already from a Make Your Own Jewelry set, and then um, I made this bit from. I didn't have an orange female clay, so a mixture of red and yellow female clay. Then I put a bit of white around the bottom. Obviously, this isn't like the easiest or most practical thing to do to make your own earrings. So um, there are places that sell them online, like Etsy um, or possibly eBay. Um, so you can go have a search there if you don't want to make your own. But they are quite easy to make with female clay. You just make them into the shape and then stick the earring in it before, then cook it in the oven. Um, but you can buy them online, like different forms of them. There's one made out of beads because the beaded ones are what um, Ivana actually wore in the films. And there's ones, uh, I don't know, there's quite a few on places like Etsy. Next, my glasses. Um, again, what I did with these was I got them off the, um, I got the shape of them, like the, the printed bit off the internet, so it came with this bit and the two sides um, off the internet, then I printed that out and then I um, laminated it and cut it so it would actually stay on my head rather than going all floppy. So again, I'll leave the link to that if I can find it again because I dressed up sooner a year ago um, in the description box and if I can't just try to type it into Google, I don't know, but I will definitely try to leave the link. Um, and then you just laminate it, stick the sides so they're like glasses and then you can wear them over your eyes but I find that kind of annoying so I just wear them on my head all night and my hair I talked about in my um, hair and makeup um, tutorial but the extensions are about uh, from eBay for about five pounds so they're just really plain white blonde extensions so I hope you like this video sorry for the way I'm filming it is kind of awkward I know but um, the best I could come up, come up with to show you this outfit. So I hope you like it and I will see you in my next video. And I hope you enjoy Halloween, whatever you're dressing up as, whether it's Lena or not. Bye guys.